Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start in today's episode to analyze the Bitcoin price and also the DXY since now the DXY is again trading. Congratulations to everyone that shorted yesterday this $10,500 push to the upside. If you were watching my own indicator yesterday, we got two perfect sell signals here in the three hour and one hour time frame. So congratulations to everyone that took this little short here and took out some profits right now. We are waiting for the next nice trading opportunity. So currently I'm not in a trade. And if you're interested in trading Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x like you can do this over on Bybit, then please use the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel of course. And if you want to see my 24 live stream of my own indicator, then join our free Discord trading chat and contact me over there on Discord. So right now we can start here with a one hour time frame on the Bitcoin price because as you can see after this drop that we had towards the 200 moving average in the one hour we bounce at 10,250 and currently we are seeing the price recovering quite healthy. The problem is that we are still trading here between this 10,200 and 10,500 dollar. So we still have this 10,500 as a resistance which of course is a bit a bearish sign. This could lead into continuation to the downside. But the one hour currently is looking like that we are gearing up to the upside. Also, we are bouncing from the 50 level now and we still have a lot of room left to the upside. So there is a chance that we maybe go up again to retest this 10,500 to 10,600, potentially even go towards our 11K target. So here also in the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're trading on the upper area and based on the MACD and KST, we should expect continuation to the upside. So they are shifted to the upside. The problem here is only that the stochastic is shifted to the downside. So this also could indicate that we're going to see a possible retest of 10,360 down to 10,320, the two moving averages here in the Bollinger Band. And now if we switch over to the DXY, you can see that we have a very similar condition like on the Bitcoin price. We are trading here above the 200 moving average. Currently we're bouncing from it. And here, if you watch at my own indicator, you can see that in the one hour time frame, we got a buy signal right now. So this could indicate that in the DXY, we're going to see a big push to the upside, potentially towards the resistance here of the 9350. And if this is the case, if we are pushing higher here in the DXY, then expect the Bitcoin price to take a dip towards 10,200, maybe even towards 10,000 dollar because here in the one hour currently the DXY is looking quite bullish in my opinion also the RSI here is still in oversold condition so we still have a lot of room left to the upside so if here we're gonna have a one hour close above 9320 I'm expecting here a possible retest of this 9350 and potentially even go higher if this is gonna play out and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because also Bitcoin is still looking quite bullish here in the four hour. We are trading above the 20 moving average again. And if we're going to have a push to the upside and break this $10,600, then watch out for the 200 moving average here at $11,200. In that case, we will also reach our next potential big resistance area here of around $11,000, which now is the 200 moving average. And if we're getting rejected here, I think it is very likely that we will come all the way again down towards 10K and potentially also lower. But currently it looks like that we could be gearing up here for another move to the upside. RSI is also trading above the 50, that is a good sign. And if we switch over into the Bollinger Band here, also you can see that currently we are trading in the upper area. But of course, it's going to depend where this candle is going to close. Currently, we are not really deciding where we're going to close this candle because we had a big week to the upside and also to the downside, as you can see here. So in the next couple of hours, we will decide if we're going to take another dip towards the bottom here of around $10,200 or if we're gearing up for a possible move towards 10,500 and maybe even $11,000. Because we have the stochastic shift to the upside, which is a good sign. The problem is only that the KSD and MACD currently are very flat. So here, if we're gonna have a bullish or bearish cross, 
coming up pretty soon this could fire up the things pretty fast to the upside or downside so you see in the next couple of hours we're going to choose in which direction we're going in my opinion most likely to the downside since the dxy is looking again more bullish but also the dxy here in the bigger picture like here in the four hour time frame is a bit undecisive as you can see right now although the RSI is right at the 50 and we're trading here between the 20 and 200 moving average so also here the DXY is not telling us in which direction we are going only the one hour time frame looks like that we could gear up here for a possible move to the upside and that could indicate that on Bitcoin we're gonna see a big dip in the next coming hours and then potentially also take the four hour time frame with it so we can go now back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because in the daily you can see that currently we are still trading below the 20 daily moving average which is currently at $10,700 and this is what makes me believe that most likely we're getting still rejected here from this 20 daily moving average and we should see possibly coming up pretty soon here at 200 daily moving test here down at $9,100. This is where I'm going to start to scale in big long positions and also buy back in all the profits that I took out here at 12k and also in the daily you can see that we are still oversold in the RSI we didn't test the 50 level yet so that's why there is still a high chance that we're getting rejected here at the 50 level and also from the 20 daily moving average even though we got here a buy signal in my own indicator but at least for the short to midterm i think we could see a possible 200 daily moving average retest and then have a big bounce to the upside since in the bigger picture we are still looking bullish on bitcoin and we also got a buy signal here in the daily which of course takes a long time till it's gonna play out so meanwhile we can also dip down towards the 200 daily and from there have a big bounce to the upside hopefully and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the daily, here you can see that currently we're still trading just above the first moving average here at $10,300. The middle line is here at $10,800, so around 11K. And that's why the 11K area is a very important resistance that needed to be break in order to go again towards 12K and possibly even higher. The problem is here that the MACD and KSD are still shifted to the downside so it's all going to depend what those indicators are telling in the next couple of days and of course where we're going to close these daily candles here. As soon as we have a close above 11k I think we should be good to go to the upside but as long as we're trading below $11,000 and have daily closes below we should be heading towards the downside in my opinion and the next target would be $9,500 and then $9,100. Yes, you can see I'm not in a short currently because I don't have currently good sell signals, but I think it is better to wait maybe till this possible dip is going to play out towards 9,500 or 9,100 and then start to scaling big longs position instead of anticipate the possible next move that is very hard to predict right now. And since we are now in the daily time frame, let's open up also the DXY because the DXY here is also looking quite bullish in my opinion. We had the buy signal here and currently we are also testing the 20 daily moving average. So as long as we're closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average, the DXY is still looking bullish. And in my opinion, there is a still a high chance that we could see a big spike to the upside potentially towards the 50 daily moving average or even the 200 daily moving average up here at 97 of course that would be catastrophe for the stock market and the bitcoin price but there is still a high chance that at least we could see a big spike to the upside if this is going to play out also because we are right at the 50 in the rsi so we would have a lot of room left to the upside only if we're going to have another daily close below the 20 daily moving average so below 93 dollars that could indicate that we're going to continue to crash here in the dxy and we're going to see a big push to the upside in the bitcoin price and of course also in the stock market and now let's go back to the bitcoin price and open up also the weekly time frame because we closed last week's candle here above the 20 weekly moving average which is very bullish so we're gonna have to see where this week is gonna close in my opinion we most likely gonna have another week to the downside so below the 20 weekly moving average but for the bigger picture everything is still looking very bullish we are closing weekly candles above this important moving average and we should expect here a possible big bounce to the upside potentially again to test even 12k again and maybe even break it because we cooled off the rsi we're bouncing from the 50 level which is a very good sign i got here a sell signal in my own indicator but i think 
this big dump that we had already this was already the signal that appeared here and we could at any time have a big bounce again to the upside so we don't have to come here down to complete oversold condition before we're gearing up for a next move it is possible that we have seen already the worst but of course for the short to mid term we still have some room left to the downside all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe here to the channel we do daily ta videos and also join my free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome i always keep you up to date over there and of course if you want to see my own live stream there with my own indicator then feel free to contact me over on discord and in the video description you find also other useful links that you can use to get some free cryptos and also if you're interested in a mining software then you can download the kudo miner you find the download code down below in the video description with my link you can get 10,000 satoshi sign up bonus if you mine at least 5,000 sets so this miner is the miner that i'm also using while i'm working here on my pc so thank you very much for watching my friends please moon up the likes and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye